creating social media highlight covers. For Instagram, you can create branded highlight covers to make your profile look cohesive and always on brand. Canva's icon library can help you create unique designs for different categories like products, testimonials, or behind the scenes. Now let's go over to my screen and I will show you how to make these simple designs. Right, so first of all, what do we need? We need an actual template size so that we can create our designs. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Instagram story size template. So I'm going to go over to create a design, type in Instagram, and it will bring up all of my Instagram sizes. Now you can go for a Instagram size, which is the more of a more the square or the new four or five size but I'm gonna go for an Instagram story so we can really see what we're creating here. Now, the first thing I would do here is with my branding colors, I would probably change the background to suit one of my brand colors. So I'm gonna click on the color background button here. And as I've got my branding set up in Canva, it has actually already brought up my branding colors for me. And I'm gonna set the background to one of those colors. The next thing I would want to do is work out what kind of icons I would like on these designs. Now, if you're looking for creating covers that are for products or tutorials or um, any different thing that you create within your business, look for an icon that relates to that. Now, Canva has so many different icons. I could go over to the elements section and I could type in... Um, graphic design icon, for example. So let's say I was looking for various different things for my business, or so say it could be graphic design. I'll click on the see all option here and it brings up all these amazing little icons for me that I can now use within my design. So let's say I like these ones. I think these are quite cool and I could use these for my different varying highlight covers. I can click on one of them and use it as a highlight cover. The great thing about a lot of these elements in Canva is that you can actually change the colors. Now, these ones that I've just shown you, I could click on one of these. Let's say this could be for web design. I can have another one. This one could be for mindset and helping business owners. This one could be for ideas. So there's lots of different icons I can use here. I will just show you one of these as an example. I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to stretch it out like this and then put it in the middle of my design, my template. And I'm going to change the color. I can change it to white if I want to. We have got two colors here, the outer and the inside. So I could change the inside to black or even to the color of my background. Next, I can add a text box. And if I bring the text box up, Let's say this one's for web design. I can make the text bigger so it can be seen in the bottom of the circle. I'm keeping it within the circle because when you put it into Instagram, it will form a circle around this particular icon. So I don't want it to be out of the circle, otherwise it will get cropped off. If I make that nice and bold and change it to the same color, I've now got my own little icon I can use for my highlights using one of these, which actually look pretty boring and pretty dull, but because I can change the colors and I can add text into them, it makes them so much nicer. Here's a few other different ideas for you. I've got one here where I've just used a basic circle element and I've added an icon inside, so you don't need to go for words. You can just have an icon with a circle, which helps you get it right when you're actually uploading it to Instagram. This one's just got a shape around it, for example. Um, we can change the color of the shape, so you could go for white, a very simple one, but it just gives you a different view of what you can do. That one's got a full background, that one's got an actual circle element, and this one has a shape around the outside. What you can also do, I will show you on this one, is you can add letters. You can add, say, C for creative, D for design, B for branding. It depends on what you're doing, as I say, in your highlights. Depends on your letters. But if you go to element, and let's say we're gonna go for 
D for branding, type in the letter B and it will bring you up lots of different types of Bs. Now, if you want to keep the same alphabet, pick one of these because the chances are it will have more letters with it. This one, for example, let's say that one, click the three dots, see more like this, and then it will give you all of the other letters that are within that set. Now I could go, okay, let's have um, a D for design on this one. On this one, we are gonna go back to the elements section. I'm gonna have um, E for email. I'm just making these up as I go now. I'll add another page and let's have S for sales. I can change the background color of each one of these. The canvas actually started adding in the other colors that it's picking up in these elements. So I've got the blue here or I've got the, the peachy color in the background. This one I could change to that. That looks really good with that one. And the D, we could go for something like that. So you don't even have to have the same color background for your letters. Let's look at these. So this is the first one we looked at. This was an example of using a circle, an element and an icon. You can just add a shape if you want to, or you could go for something like these and have a really funky letter that has the, it starts with the initial of whatever it is that highlight section is for, and then you can change the background colors. Now, can you imagine these in your Instagram account? They're gonna look really, really cool. So there we go. That's just a few examples of different ways you can create highlight covers for your Instagram account. What did you think of that? I think they're pretty cool. I think I love the letter ones. I think the letter ones are really quite funky and I may be changing mine over to that. I've got a few in my Instagram account. So that's it from me today. I'm Laura. I'm a Canva creator and Canvasador, and I'm here to bring you all sorts of different tutorials based around Canva, mainly for business owners, but anybody can follow along to these tutorials. Don't forget, please follow and subscribe my channel. I have loads and loads of content and videos waiting for you.